Hello, welcome at the second lecture of VBE tutorials. I just want to clarify that the sound has been upgraded and uh, more clarified uh, than previous video. Okay, so at this video, I will show you the types of data that that are used at uh, VBE. Okay, uh, if someone has programmed before, uh, this video may be familiar for him okay so okay if I see how to define a number in VBE okay there is many ways to define to define number in VBE okay okay the first method I can use integer format okay uh, so if I have a number and its format is an integer I can define it as integer okay if I have a variable called x okay and x equal uh, 6 okay and I want to define this type of x just if I want to define anything I just write them okay it's abbreviation for dimension and then the variable name and here is the variable name is x and then I type as and then I type the data type okay and the x here is an integer value okay so if, e, if I type integer okay so x will be a integer value okay this integer values has a range what if I have what if I have an integer value but within a range larger than the first range so I can define it as long value okay if I have like uh, x equal to uh, 400 thousand okay and then I told him message box x let's see what will shall happen okay here is he told me that it's overflow value why because integer data type has a range that not exceeded 32,000 okay uh, so if I wanted to define this variable I have to write it as long okay and then I will run it okay it's run correctly so let's check what if I define x as text so I, if I wanted to write a text or a string value I have to put a speech mark write the text okay and then put a speech mark let's run it an error why because it's mismatch type okay because I define x as long value and then I put a string value to it so I have to uh, set of x to a long value so okay what if my number was knows into an integer value and so something like that okay 4.256 okay what would happen if I define is as a long it will appear the nearest number to this value okay but what if I wanted to, to make X appeared as its value okay I have to define another value it's called singer or double okay this is the difference between them the range for each one okay but uh, for myself I use the double value okay if I wanted to define a float number okay the double value uh, it's like the float number for another language for programming okay if I define x as double it will appear like its correct value okay so that's about the number so what about the text characters okay what if I wanted to define a text character we use the data type string okay example for it if I wanted to type just one character or just one word or even a whole text okay so I define x as string and put x as okay it will appear correctly the name okay what about the another value data what if I want to define a true or false value okay 
I just use the Boolean data type, okay. That rule, uh, uh, the false is equal to zero and the true are anything another, uh, another zero, okay. So, what I, what can I use the true or false value? I can use the true or false value uh, like if I wanted to define a condition, if I wanted to know that condition was a true or uh, even false and then take uh, take steps uh, depend on this value. If it was a true, I will just make something. If it was a false, I will do another something. Okay. So it's important to know how to define true or false value. Okay. What if I wanted to define date value? in VBA AutoCAD, I just use the date data value. Okay, then, what if I wanted to define something called the character or color code value? What it means here, if I just open the layers, okay, and I wanted to define the color. Each color have an index color, okay, like if it was a green, it has three if with cyan it will equal to 4 and so on if it was blue it will equal to 5 and so on so if i want to define this this uh, these values i can define it by something called byte okay so byte it's a positive integer values from 0 to 255 okay like uh, like what we saw uh, for the colors, uh, just for example, if it was a green, it, uh, its integer value which will equal to 3 and I can define this value by give it a data type called byte, okay. So, how can you define money in VBA to CAD? It's not important really, but uh, it's uh, for knowledge, can define it by something called currency. Because money calculations uh, accuracy is very important, currency type it's uh, suitable for it and they can handle with the money calculations. Okay, and for the last thing, if I want to define anything that I can't know what is value or what is or what is data type, like if I just wanted to define something but I, I don't know what will it be, it will be just. Uh, uh, string or uh, double or uh, integer or whatever I can use the data type called variant okay if the data types is not specified I can use the variant data type so why just I use it for uh, for always why I can't use it from the beginning because variant uh, data type has the most large size in the memory so if i just make everything uh, make every data type as a variant it will uh, uh, the macro will be a large size okay so if it's important to define the correct data type because it's uh, more logical if you wanted to read the, the macro again or uh, just you leave it and uh, then you will return to it after uh, a while then if you just read the data type uh, for each variable you will understand it will help you to understand the the code that you have written okay but if you just type everything a variant you it will be more complex to understand so okay so variant in general it's uh, used for every anything that you can just uh, you can't know its type and of course, uh, as we will see for the AutoCAD, uh, there is uh, something called properties for for the uh, AutoCAD objects and uh, so on. It's uh, a variant can be used there also, where I just I can't uh, know what will be the type uh, of the intersection of something with something like it will be a point or it will be a line or, or it can't. Uh, or just uh, or they won't intersect at all so i can put it as a variant okay it's, and it's everything for that the data values can i use in vve cats and thank you